Hi, I'm Nate Moser and I'm with Timney Triggers. Today I'm going to show you an install on one of the most popular rifles, the Remington 700. First thing you want to do, open the chamber, make sure everything's empty. Normally there's two screws to remove your stock here and here. Sometimes there's one under here. Once you remove those two screws, it's able, you're able to take the bottom metal off and then the stock. That's going to let you get to the factory trigger group. From here, you're going to want to put the trigger on safe, exposing your second pin on the back side. The front pin can only go out one way. The bolt stop release is blocking it from going one way. It can only go out the front side. So from left to right. If you tap your pins out just enough to get the factory trigger out, it keeps everything in there. The main one is this back pin. It holds this bolt stop release assembly together. If you're out too far, everything comes out. So I'm going to show you how to put that back together. Once you get your factory trigger out, you're going to see three pieces come out. The factory sear, there's a spring in here. I can't get it out. And the trigger. So we have three pieces that come out of this rifle and then you're going to install our trigger into it. This is the Remington 700 Hunter Elite. So just to make it easier, I started the pins here. If you can do this without knocking the pins completely out, it makes the process a whole lot easier. First you want to get your front pin in. Line it up and tap it in. Once your front pin's in, use a punch and line up your rear pin. You can crush the housing on this and then it'll cause a whole lot of problems. While you're outside of the stock function test it, make sure everything's working. Safety works, safety engages. Looks like we're good to go. Now we're going to put the stock back on. Simple as that.